Let me tell you why you are here. You're here because you know something. What you know, you can't explain. But you feel it. You felt it your entire life. That there is something wrong with the world. You don't know what it is. But it's there. Like a splinter in your mind. Driving you mad. It is this feeling that has brought you to me. Do you know what I'm talking about? Mustaches are everywhere. They are all around us, even now, in this very room. You see them when you look out your window, or when you turn on your television. You feel them when you go to work or pay your taxes. It is a hair that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. Unfortunately, no one can be told what a mustache is. You have to see it for yourself. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the private stock. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the booze and backy. You stay in Wonderland and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Remember, all I'm offering you is my opinion, nothing more. I hope you enjoyed that. Those are the lines from Morpheus from The Matrix, but I thought it would be rather fitting for this situation. Because today I am going to be reviewing for you, or should I say comparing for you, Private Stock, Mustache Wax, and Booze and Backy, Mustache Wax. Both Captain Fawcett but I'm going to be comparing them. Which one is better? Well, you've come to the right place. But I must say, you may be disappointed. Because the short answer is that they are both five stars. That you should have both of them. But please... Don't click off the video yet. There is a reason why I brought you here. And the reason is to tell you when one is better than the other. So, before I begin the review. Booze and Backy, as I've said in my very first video, the review, is a very mellow scent. It is a very gentle smell, well-rounded. It is going to enter your nose and enter your mind, and it is going to leave a very soft impression. It's not going to overwhelm your senses. It is not going to... It's not going to give you the jitters, you could say. Uh, booze and Backy is going to leave pleasant notes on your mind. It is going to fulfill that requirement. Uh, Captain Fawcett's private stock, on the other hand, is a sharp smell. Uh, we are talking about cedar wood foundation and built on top of it we've got uh, patchouli and pomerosa. So you're going to be getting that herbal floral scent really poking you in the nose here, and you've got that cedar wood to fall back on. Now, when I say poke you in the nose, it's not a bad thing. You might imagine this poking you in the nose, that would probably be a bad thing. But when I talk about the mustache waxes, I'm just telling you, I'm trying to, I'm trying to encourage your mind here to consider these things. I do apologize if you are hearing any construction. <laughs> it never ends here. 
anyways, back to the comparison here. When I consider which mustache wax to use between the two, there's one question that comes into my mind. The question is, what am I doing today? Okay? Both mustache waxes are medium hold. Uh, both mustache waxes are 0.5 fluid ounce containers. They're identical dimensions. The smells are different. That's the big difference here. Uh, I think, what am I doing today? For me, and potentially for you, this is what I would recommend. If I'm going to be going to work, I work indoors. If I was going to work, booze and backy would be my ideal scent. Why do I say that? Because when you're indoors, the air is not really introducing too many scents. It's not really going to be distracting you. So you've got a very neutral environment with not much smell. So you're going to enjoy this mellow smell very much when you're in a situation like that, where it's closed off, you're not getting the smell of what have you, nature or diesel fuel or what have you. You're just getting that neutral smell. So for me, my number one for if you're planning on spending the day inside at work, uh, mm, uh, in your house maybe, uh, booze and backy is my go-to for that. On the reverse, if you were planning on spending your day outside, you wanted to go for a walk in the forest, you wanted to go for a walk on the, on the streets outside, maybe you live in the big city. For me, I would go with private stock. And the reason is quite simple. Private stock is a sharp smell. It's going to break through. It's going to cut through the nasty smells outside. The diesel, the petrol. It's going to break through the, you know, animal business on the ground. And it's going to penetrate your mind. It's going to penetrate your nose in a pleasant way. So even though you're in a bad smelling situation, this cuts through the fat, you could say. It gets right to the mind and it certainly is just a very floral, very woody, very natural, herby smell. So that is pretty much the gist of it. But let me run you through again the differences. I have my two pieces of quite old paper. Uh, this one here, the booze and backy. This one here, the private stock. Uh, both of them, the words of the captain. Uh, the captain did not write on the paper with this pen. Uh, it's just the words have been transcribed to the paper. But they are the captain's words. Anyway, starting off with booze and backy, a very excellent description. A rich and complex blend of beeswax and essential oils combine to create luxurious base notes of honeyed fresh tobacco leaves, dusty aromatic frankincense, maple-like benzoin, woody oak moss, and warm exotic vanilla bean, layered with mid-notes of fresh hops, and sweet bog myrtle, finished with the top notes of spice from the bay rum tree and zesty orange. Compare that to the private stock scent, a delectable blend of fragrant essential oils fused with sweet almond, jojoba, and vitamin E based oils. Sorry, base oils. An elegantly scented balance of cedarwood, black pepper, 
patchouli, and palmarosa essential oils. So you're getting two very different scents here. Uh, the Booze and Backy retails for £11. The Private Stock retails for £10. They are both 0.5 fluid ounces or 15 milliliters. Uh, is it worth it? Yes. Uh, I say it in hopefully all my videos, but I may forget. Is it worth it? Definitely. Why is it worth it? Because when you go out into the city, uh, you don't go to work every day maybe with a gigantic curl going off. Uh, so when you go out into the city, you're getting two guarantees here. Number one guarantee is your hairs are going to uh, lie down and think of England. Uh, yes, they can sweep. If they're long enough, it will do that. I'm not saying that it's not strong. It is medium hold for both of them. Uh, but for me, I live in a very humid, hot place. Um, wearing a mask all day, I don't need that. So anyway, in my experience, uh, for me, I get two things. Number one, my hairs will lie down and think of England. Number two, I am getting a fragrance under my nose all day that is very pleasant. These both smell fantastic, but they cannot be compared in that way. There's very little similarities between them, besides the fact that they do have essential oil material in them that's going to hydrate uh, your mustache. But the smells are radically different, and they both have a time and a place where they are the go-to. Um, there's two times a day. There's two situations in the day, right? You've got day and night. You've got inside, outside. Well, you've got private stock and booze and backy, right? So depending on what you're doing is going to depend on which one is right for you. So do you plan on spending your day indoors? You could do with a nice mellow smell to just give you a little bit of pep in your step. If you're going to be outside walking on the busy street, I've got construction vehicles going by all the time, shooting out blue diesel into the air. I need something that's going to protect my sense from that. So private stock really is uh, fantastic for the day out. You go into the, the forest or to the mountain if you'd like to go hiking. Hey, fine, perfect. But if you are spending your day indoors, whew, this one does the trick. Anyway, I'm going to thank you for listening to this video. I can hear the loudspeakers outside. I apologize. Thank you very much for joining me, and I bid you a good day.